Hello everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've seen my videos before. Today I'm going to be talking about the Apple Watch. The reason why I'm going to be talking about the Apple Watch today is that the Apple Watch is a smartwatch that is designed and manufactured by Apple, which is a tech company, which I've already talked about in previous videos, if you want to go check that out. The Apple Watch was first released in April of 2015, and it is one of the best-selling smartwatches even to this day, and it is also one of the most best-selling wearable devices to this day. Apple releases new watches every year, and they are, they are sectioned by being called series. Right now we're on series 9 and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But they are released every September of every year since 2015 unless they change it in the future. And there are there's only one version except for there's only one main version and there's two other side versions that I'll talk about later as well. As I already said, the current series is that we're at in 2024 is 9 and the 9 is powered by the S9 chip which is a which is a dual core chip that has 5.6 billion transistors in it which makes it 60 times faster than the last chip which was the S8 chip in the old Apple Watch and it also has a 4 core neural engine which makes it be able to do more stuff that involves AI faster and easier such as the double tap feature it can also help with with uh, processing machine learning. The other two versions I'm going to bring up now are the Apple Watch Ultra, Ultra and the Apple Watch SE. The SE is mainly a cheaper version of the Apple Watch right now, and it goes for around $250, but it has some setbacks for that price, obviously, which are it comes with the older S8 chip, as well as it coming and only at the highest size of 44 millimeters. The Apple Watch Ultra is one of the best Apple Watches you can buy, which is pretty obvious from the price point being $800. And it can go up to a size and only has one size you can pick of 49 millimeters. And the difference between this and any other one is that it's made from more rugged things such as diving underwater. And it has a sapphire screen so it won't be able to scratch very easily as well as shatter. And it is made out of titan titanium and it also has the action button just like the iPhone 15 does. Apple has also collaborated with Nike and Hermes to help us build some of their watch uh, bands that they use for their watches. Apple Watch runs on watchOS, which is a subdivision of all of Apple's operating systems, and they all work together seamlessly, like I've already said in previous videos about all the OSs. But that's mainly all I have to talk, to talk about today about the Apple Watch. Bye.